got another quarantine special today. This is going to go through three of the bigger brim that I caught last year, all on different lures and in different scenarios. So I'm going to run through each one, have a chat about the lures and the different tips and techniques. The first brim was caught on a Z-Man Slim Swim. If you watch any of my other videos, you probably get a bit of a theme that this is one of my favourites. Uh, one of the other better soft plastics is also uh, Hurricane Sprat. Um, I tend to go bloodworm, hatchet sort of colour. Um, motor oil is not too bad, but generally if I'm using the Z-Man, it's always bloodworm. If I'm fishing from shore or on a rock wall, I generally use a 120th or 116th ounce jig head. Usually in size 1 or 2, I generally go size 1. I let the lure sink down a little bit, and then it's really just a slow retrieve with pauses and giving a little bit of action only from the wrist. You don't need massive hops, but it's good to give it a little bit of vibration. As usual for this one, I've got the four pound braid, four pound leader, and I've got a one to three kilogram rod. If I'm going off the rock walls, it's generally on the rising tide, hoping for the brim to come in and eat and chew on the mussels, or uh, eat the bait that's schooling up. I also try and cast right at the edge of the, um, the shade line of the trees. So I try and think about where the shade gonna be over the water, particularly if I'm not fishing where there's lots of structure around. When I'm fishing off this rock wall, I usually just use soft plastics. I'll go the, the Slim Swim, the Sprat from Hurricane, or the BioTuff fish is pretty good as well. Some of the rock walls are pretty snaggy, so rigging up weedless is a pretty good way to go as well. catch quite a few brim with the double clutch on the flats. The main difference is if you're going for flat head, it's probably longer pauses. So when I was waiting out on flats on this occasion, I saw a bunch of silver flashes going through. So I cast towards the area, slowed the retrieve even further down than you would for a flat head, and gave it five second pauses in between each one. I waited out quite far, so I took my time to get it in. I've cut this video down a little bit. This fish was caught at the beginning of the running tide. There was a clear channel where a lot of the water and the bait was flowing through. So I waded right out to where the drop off was. And this one hit it right on the corner of the drop off. Last up, we've got the bladed lure, one of my favourites, the 1 8 TT switchblade. Not a bad lure for the flats as well. Here I'll just cast out, let it sink to the bottom, and give it small hops back towards the kayak. Make sure you give it time to sink back down between each hop. Got a massive hit, then it was a battle to keep it off all the barnacles on the pile. The TT blade is absolute gun around bridges. The only issue is that it can often get snagged pretty easily with the small trebles, because you're really sinking it right down to the bottom. So you just gotta really think about where you wanna use it and if it's worth it. I tend to use the TT a lot more during the winter when the brim are right down deep. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments section.